Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to go through a pretty easy strategy to get through the Captain Lotus Vision boss fight in Chapter 3 in the Pagoda region, uh, in case you're having some struggles with it. Uh, this should help you out. So this boss fight is located right next to the upper Pagoda checkpoint, which you can see behind me, and then it's down in this boss arena, which you can drop down onto these roofs and then drop down on the floor. So uh, we'll go through the fight and I'll kind of explain the strategy, but first just kind of taking a look at some of the equipment and upgrades that I have and related to the strategy that I'm using. So if you can get this Kong Jin staff upgraded, uh, you should have that after defeating Kong Jin Long. Uh, that'll give you some nice additional attack uh, and having that equipped. Uh, I'm using the Fireproof Mantle to get some focus at the beginning of the fight, which we'll look at, and the Wandering White. Uh, and then I'm still using the Gale Guard full set for armor. Um, and then also for my relics, I have the Opportune Watcher. Uh, equipped so this is going to increase focus while we're doing consecutive successful light attacks It's gonna help build up a lot of focus uh, and then also I have whistling wind uh, equipped as well for increased attack power after perfect dodges So we get a lot of perfect dodges in this fight, too So uh, there's that and then in terms of the skills. So this also uh, lays into the strategy a little bit um, for stamina we want to get all the way up to uh, Bold move so this is going to build up focus when we get those perfect dodges uh, and then also I have this uh, martial arts upgraded all the way to sturdy and then another important call out I have spiritual awakening almost fully upgraded to give us a bunch of mana That's gonna allow us to use a lot of spells. That's gonna make this fight uh, significantly easier uh, Staff stances I'm using smash stance. So I've got all those upgraded uh, and then I've got that 20 points into that So I, we can get that fourth focus point and then for the two spells that we're primarily gonna focus on one is cloud step and we want to get that upgraded to Thunder Strike, so this is going to allow us to charge our heavy attack while we're in that cloud step form. Uh, and then also we're going to use the A Pluck of Many spell, uh, where you summon your additional helper monkeys. And we want to get that upgraded to Harmony, uh, because this will allow us to build up more focus from those uh, as, uh, as those deal light attacks, as those duplicates deal light attacks, they'll build up focus for you as well. So uh, that's kind of the build, and then now we'll go through the fight and the strategy that uses all this. So starting off, another important aspect of this area and this boss fight is the beguiling chant. So the way this works, if you've been here, uh, your eyes will glow red. It's I think it's on a three minute timer. And basically what that is doing is when that is in effect, you'll have lower health, but you'll also do more damage. So you can kind of go about this two different ways. You can either do it while the beguiling chant is in effect so your eyes are glowing. That's going to give you more damage. That's what I decided to do. Uh, and then you just kind of have the risk of having lower health. Uh, or you can just do it when in its current state where everything's normal. Uh, you'll have more health, but you might have to do it some additional attacks. So uh, if you go that route, the strategy should still work. You might, just might have to do another round of attacks. Um, you could also use at the very end the um, Red Tides trans uh, tr transformation, which I didn't use in the fight. So you kind of still have that in your back pocket as well. And then one other quick tip that I forgot to mention. Uh, so you can see those minions down at the bottom of the floor there. So you, the first time you do this fight, he'll activate those. but um, if you clear them all out and then reset the fight, they don't respawn. So you can kind of do, if you haven't done this yet, kind of go through one fight, clear out those enemies, and then reset the fight, and you don't have to deal with them again. All right, so getting into the fight itself, the first thing I want to cover is just the difference. I'm going to refer to it as the red-eyed mode versus the not red-eyed mode. So the damage impact of that. So first looking at the not red-eyed mode and the damage using a four-focus charge attack. So we can see that here. And then we'll compare that to in red-eyed mode. So another four focus charge attack. And then we'll bring up the damage of each. So you can see in red-eyed mode, you get that nice little damage buff there, which is the route that I chose to take. So um, again, if you want to go the non-red-eyed mode and have that additional health, um, the strategy should still work. You just might have to do a couple, maybe like one more round of attacks. Kicking things off. So you can see I've got my red eyes. I'm going to rest real quick just to get some health back, but that's going to start depleting because of the beguiling chant. But uh, first thing I do is I pop my fireproof mantle vessel to passively build up some focus. That'll give us about two focus points as we progress through the battle here. So as we drop down, uh, starting off, he's going to throw some projectiles at us, which is an opportunity once you get the timing to get a couple perfect dodges, which will build up more focus because of our upgrades. So that's what I go ahead and do here. And then what we're looking for is a laser beam to kind of finish up that attack. So a couple perfect dodges, laser beam, and then we're going to use a pluck of many to summon our monkeys. And uh, this will get us a ton of focus here real quick, as you'll see. Uh, dodge a couple additional attacks and then go in for a, a light attack combo. And you can see down at the bottom there, I'm already at four uh, focus. So that's going to be enough to get him to move to his next spot. And we can go in and do that four focus charge attack. So we got that in. 
And from here, you can see pretty much already already at over 50% health and that's going to kick him into his next phase. So he'll then move back to the top of the arena and I'm immediately going to activate Cloud Step. And because we have that upgraded, uh, it's basically gonna give us a safe way to charge up another three focused uh, heavy attack. So uh, as we restart the video here, uh, he should be preoccupied with your monkeys if they're still around or he'll look at your clone or whatever. So pretty safe just to kind of run around and get that charged and then go in for that big three focus attack. You'll reveal yourself, so make sure you're dodging again as you get his attention. Uh, and then here you'll notice that the red eye effect has expired, so I'm using this as an opportunity to get some health. Uh, and this leads us into the next phase of his attack. So we'll have some lasers on the floor we'll have to deal with. You can jump over or dodge these. I just do a terrible job, uh, but they don't really do a whole lot of damage. I'm basically just trying to get up next to him so I can do the white head slam. So I get some damage there. And then I tried to use a mobilize here because I had some mana. Uh, it didn't work for some reason, so maybe avoid that. But uh, this next phase is a really easy opportunity to get another three focus charge attack in because you just avoid those lasers and walk around them. And by that time, I've got cloud step again, so I another, have another free three focus charge attack essentially. Get that charged up. And by here, by this point, you can see he's pretty much almost dead. So just now looking for an opportunity to get some final additional damage. So. Um, again, if you didn't do this in the red-eyed mode, you might not have this much of his health gone, so you could fall back on that uh, red tide transformation. But I just go in with one more focus hit to defeat uh, and, and complete the fight. So uh, that was kind of the strategy that I found was pretty straightforward and easy. So if you're having uh, some trouble with this fight, uh, can it, it can be a little bit tricky with all the stuff going on. Uh, this, this seemed to make things pretty easy. So uh, hopefully this helps if you're struggling. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye.